Nebraska has one of the highest rates of Parkinson's disease per capita in the country. That's according to Parkinson's Nebraska. The disease can impact several daily functions from eating to even walking. 3 News Now reporter Molly Hudson spoke to a West Omaha woman who wasn't sure she would even be alive today and is now not only walking on her own, but running thanks to a procedure just over a year ago. I honestly didn't know how much longer I had. Speaking with Sherry now, it's hard to imagine the life she lived for so long. Seven years ago, she found out she had Parkinson's disease. I was on 20 pills a day, and I had to plan all of my meals and my activities, which were limited and everything around that. Her tremors at the time impacted everyday functions like writing, making phone calls, going out to eat. I couldn't cut my own meat. I couldn't eat with a knife and fork at all. I didn't have the ability to smile. And so just being able to have the ability to smile again is just tremendous. But in 2020, her Parkinson's really took a turn. I had to figure out what I had the energy to do that day. If I had the energy to make my bed, if I had the energy to call someone on the telephone, if I had the energy to take a shower. That's when she made the decision that deep brain stimulation was the right path. I didn't know about the placement of the probes in my brain and that kind of thing, so it was just scary. The surgery implants a device similar to a pacemaker with battery packs. These get implanted right under the collarbone here and send the electricity up through wires that then go into the brain into certain targets. The technology controls her shaking and can be adjusted if needed remotely. And as soon as I turn it on, it's gone. Dr. Rab, a neurosurgeon at CHI Health, says Sherry's case is unique because she's now off all of her medication. But that's not all. She doesn't use a walker anymore either. I hated to run as part of my exercise regimen. I hated to run until I couldn't. Yeah. And now that I can, I um, it's, it's just, it's amazing. And in just a few days, she'll walk run a 5K in Kansas City with her family on their annual trip, a first for Sherry. It's shocking to me when I look back at videos of myself before I had the DBS and um, and so I just I feel so thankful, so full of gratitude. A technology finally giving Sherry her life back. In Omaha, Molly Hudson, 3 News Now. The Nebraska Parkinson's Disease Registry says as of January 2019, over 16,000 people have been diagnosed with Parkinson's in the state since 1997. There are qualifications for DBS. CHI Health is hosting a DBS Day July 13th. To provide more details about the technology, for more information, click on this story on our website, 3newsnow.com.